Did you know that up to a quarter of your database of your contact data is getting outdated every single year? That means in four years, a database that you've built could be obsolete and none of the records could work. So how could you fix this? That's why we created the Lead Researcher Pro. We call it the Database Anti-Aging Fix. The Lead Researcher Pro is a desktop tool. It's like a smart spreadsheet. So you can paste your contacts into the spreadsheet and click a track resignation button. And what it does is the Lead Researcher Pro goes to the internet and researches your contacts and sees if they have changed their job or not. If it does, it highlights them for you. So you can now find email, the latest company email inside the Lead Researcher Pro and update your database. In case you need more information, Give us a call and we can schedule a demo or drop us an email and we'll show it how it works for you. For now, in case you have built your list using Lead Grabber Pro, let's say this list is a year old, I'm going to show you how you can take this list and put it into the Lead Researcher Pro and get the latest contact information. In your Lead Grabber, highlight all your contacts like so and copy them using the eGrabber copy button over here. When you come to your Lead Researcher Pro, create a new grid. In this case, I'll be using the send outs or the back door grid for this particular track resignation function. It arranges the columns in a more relevant order. When you have the new grid, right click and use the eGrabber paste button. It immediately pastes all the contacts that you had inside Lead Grabber. Now that it's finished pasting, I'm going to highlight all the contacts that I have. I'm going to click on this track button right in the center. I'm going to use the track resignation function over here just by clicking it. And the lead researcher is off. It goes ahead, takes the contact in the company and searches the internet if this person has changed. And look, it's already found a possible resignation. So I'm going to leave this to run for a short while. Can you imagine how long it would take a human being to do the same process? To go through a thousand records and update all this information? You see, at this speed, the lead researcher is going to finish this list in no time. Now, I've let the re lead researcher run for a short while. I'm going to pull up all those people who have resigned or not resigned. I sort them using this tracking alert column over here and I get a nice set of people who the lead researcher thinks have moved jobs. And there's another set of people who the lead researcher is not sure whether they have moved jobs or not. So these warrant a manual check. And it's pretty good because in your whole database, it's boiling it down to a few records that you have to manually check. For all the rest, the software is very sure that they have changed their jobs. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to find their new contact information. I do that very simply by first accepting the new title and the new company where they now work at by clicking that button over there. And you see the company has changed over here. I can select those records again and click on the find email button. And now the lead researcher will go out there and find their actual email address at the spot that they're currently working at. In case you like a demo, in case you'd like to know more, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll be happy to help you out.